Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Steve, and on this episode of Cooking with Love, I'm going to be doing an old-fashioned jelly roll. Now, the jelly roll is a treat that's loved by our kids and certainly a favorite amongst my wife's family. I'm going to share with you a technique that someone taught me on how to make the jelly roll easier. Uh, in the uh, old days when I was making jelly rolls, uh, you would have to take the, uh, the sponge cake out of the oven, place it on a towel, uh, roll it up and then keep it wrapped so that it would hold its form. Uh, I have a much easier way to, uh, to make the roll. All right, let's get started. The ingredients we need to make the jelly roll is all-purpose flour, and I've already sifted this flour. You want to sift it to make sure you get any clumps out of it, and it actually introduces air. It'll make it a little bit lighter. Some sugar, vanilla extract, salt, baking powder, baking soda, large eggs, butter, and then any kind of jam or jelly that you prefer. Today I'm going to be using homemade strawberry jam. I'll include a link below to the video where I showed you how to make your own strawberry jam. And you're going to need an electric stand mixer or a handheld mixer. All right, let's put this together. I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Uh, with the whisk attachment, I'm going to be adding the eggs to the bowl. And I'm just going to give them a stir. Next, I'm going to be adding the sugar. the salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And we're going to be mixing this for about three minutes until the sugar is dissolved. All right, this has been mixing for about three minutes. I'm going to uh, scrape down the bowl. And now I'm going to beat this at a medium speed for about five minutes until our mixture thickens. Well, we've been mixing for about five minutes on a medium speed, and you can see that the mixture has definitely thickened. Next, we're going to go to a high speed, and we're going to uh, whip it for about another five minutes until the volume has about doubled. All right, our mixture has been beating for about five minutes. It's definitely increased in volume. I'm going to put it onto a medium speed, and I'm going to be adding the melted butter and the vanilla, and then I will reduce it down to low. All right, our flour has been incorporated. And I'm just going to uh, give this a couple turns, make sure all the flour is incorporated from the bottom. And now we're going to transfer this to our cookie tray. I have a uh, 
parchment paper lining it and I've sprayed it with the cooking spray. And I'm scraping the bowl to get everything out. And I'm going to use a uh, spatula just to spread this out. Make sure it's a nice, thin, even layer. All right. This is going to go into the oven now. I'm going to check it after 12 minutes. I just took the cake out of the oven. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes. You can see it's just delicately browned. I checked it after 12 and needed a few more minutes. Now, we're gonna cover this. I have another uh, cooking tray and I'm just gonna place this directly over the top of it and allow it to retain the heat and it's going to keep the cake soft. So we're going to uh, put our jelly on the roll after uh, it cools down. So we're gonna give it 15 or 20 minutes to cool down. If you don't have a second cookie tray, uh, you could also cover this with aluminum foil. I would just spray the aluminum foil with a cooking spray first and apply the cooking spray side down on the cake so it doesn't stick. Our cake has been cooling for about 15 minutes. And uh, as you can see, it's cool enough to touch. First thing I'm going to do is uh, use a butter knife and I'm gonna loosen up all the sides. And remember, there's parchment paper underneath this. All right. So I'm going to spread our jam on the surface. The strawberry jam smells really good. All right. So now I'm going to use the parchment paper to start folding the cake over. And you want to keep it tight. There we go. Now I'm just gonna trim off the edges and uh, put it onto a plate. We finish this with a dusting of powdered sugar. Our uh, jelly roll is finished. I'm joined by my wife, Iris. Um, once she heard I had made a jelly roll, she volunteered to do the taste test with me. Oh. <laughs> uh, we also have a, a nice cup of coffee to enjoy this treat with. Give it a try, hon. Mm, very good. The sponge is very tender. Of course, the strawberry jam that I made is delicious. This is a, uh, a real trip uh, treat. I know your father absolutely loves this. We're going to save him a piece. Yep. No, it's delicious and it's nice and light. All right, we'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Love.